This morning, students and staff at Wilmer Hutchins High School in the Dallas ISD returned to school again after a student was shot last week and a walkout protest yesterday. And tonight, Dallas ISD trustee Maxie Johnson will hold a community meeting to listen to those concerns and try to get to the root of the lingering issues. Our Larry Collins is following that story for us from the newsroom this morning. Hi there, Larry. As students, parents, and teachers tell me they want change at Wilmer Hutchins High School before something even more tragic happens. Now, while the investigation continues into how a student got a gun through metal detectors, some say they want to see an overhaul in school security, and they now have the ear of their school board member. Yeah. Like, I believe you get tired of waking up every day, coming to the school, not knowing if you're going to be able to come home that same day. <clears throat> got your parents scared, and it's like, it's not just this like, school. I understand why they are afraid. I'm a father that lost a son to gun violence. So I understand the, the feeling, the emotions, the mental uh, stress that they are experiencing right now, but I can guarantee you this, that the school is safe. Now, Johnson was at the school yesterday when students staged a walkout in protest of what they call a lack of school safety. He told them that he was there to listen, make sure that the policies that are in place were taken seriously. Students say there have been other instances of weapons getting into the school, and they want school administrators to simply acknowledge that school shooting and what has happened. They said they want to be heard and seen before it is too late. Now, Johnson planned this community meeting to get to the root of the problems, hear their frustrations, and hear what's happening from a ground level. We need to talk about guns in, in the hands of our children. We have uh, gun violence, uh, school violence that pours out into our community, what they call street justice. Uh, so we have to discuss these matters and come up with solutions with our community, not away from our community. Now, Trustee Johnson has planned that community meeting tonight. It will be at the new Morningstar Church scheduled for 7 o'clock p.m. And we are still waiting to hear from district police and administrators about security and how that gun got into the school. Live this morning in the newsroom, Larry Collins, NBC5.